Don't let that slow robotic movement fool you. These are immaculate insect predators. Here we go. Ooh, ow, that stings. Ouch, ooh, woo, 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 woo. Wow, actually, wow. These are such interesting and unique, and gigantic assassin bugs. I mean, look at the size of that thing. It is very large, and their bite is extremely painful. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? to show the world that even the most bizarre life forms on earth deserve respect and appreciation. Now in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the intimidating and potentially scary world of assassin bugs. These insect predators are often equipped with a painful bite or potentially carrying a volatile parasite that can infect humans. Seems so scary, right? Well, today we'll be jumping into the world of assassin bugs to take a close look at the bites and potential diseases these animals can carry to find out just how dangerous these animals really can be. Let's dive right in. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in some beautiful habitat and I'm on the hunt for assassin bugs, more particularly the largest assassin bug that you can find here in this area, the wheel bug. Now you may remember the wheel bug that I filmed later last year, and I filmed the bite of this impressive assassin bug, but there were a lot of misconceptions and a lot of people were confused about what all assassin bugs do and what all they're about. So I'm here today to teach you everything there is to know about assassin bugs, and more particularly, once again, the wheel bug. So we're going to poke around and see if we can find one of these iconic and interesting insects. Now, wheel bugs generally move at a kind of slow, robotic pace. And that, coupled with a matte gray kind of natural coloration, can make them quite difficult to spot immediately. So I'm taking extra care to scan each tree and branch I walk past to make sure I don't walk past one of these amazing little insects. Something moving. Okay, fingers crossed it's not a dumb leaf-footed bug and it's actually what I want. Take a closer look. Ah, yes! Right here is a beautiful wheel bug assassin. But these are impressive assassin bugs and I want to address a few things about them. So I'm just going to coax our little friend in here. Don't let that slow robotic movement fool you. These are immaculate insect predators. Underneath this animal's head is what is called a rostrum, which is a proboscis. And they use this to stab into their prey, injecting it with viral fluid venom. And that's what they use to kill and start to digest their prey. These are true bugs which means that they are related to things like cicadas and other hemipterans. It's that true bug order. But of course, above all else, these are reduvids, assassin bugs. Now, I had a lot of people in my other video comment, uh-oh, you're going to get Chagas disease. You're going to get Chagas. Now, Chagas is a serious disease that can be transmitted through a type of assassin bug called a kissing bug. 
When people hear the term assassin bug, it may immediately call to mind the terrifying kissing bug. These assassin bugs in the genus Triatoma feed on the blood of mammals and through doing so can spread a potentially deadly parasitic disease known as Chagas disease. Now this is caused by the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi. Unlike many other species of assassin bugs where the bite is extremely painful, the bite from a kissing bug is little more than a pinch. Now think about it. If you feed on the blood of other animals, a painful bite may alert them and put you in danger. So these bugs have evolved to be sneaky about the way that they feed. As they feed, it is common for them to make room for their food by defecating. This is where the infection comes in. The bites alone are not harmful to humans. It's the parasite that's shed in the kissing bug's feces as they feed that is the real danger. Often people wake up and rub this feces into their eyes or open wounds, and that is when they become infected with Chagas. Chagas is a serious disease and has the potential to go unnoticed until dangerous health complications arise. It's estimated that of the millions of people who are infected with Chagas, over 9,000 people die annually from this disease and complications related to this disease. This is most prevalent in rural areas throughout Central and South America, and it is really not common in the United States. It's incredibly unlikely to come across Chagas-infected populations of kissing bugs here in the States, but it's best to avoid attracting rodents and small animals around your dwellings, as that will reduce the likelihood of kissing bugs moving in to feed on them. Additionally, these species that are more common to find in North America are very unlikely to defecate while they are feeding like their Central and South American counterparts. So in turn, they are much less likely to spread Chagas disease because of this. Now, something that a lot of people don't realize is only kissing bugs, triatoma, are capable of harboring Chagas disease. And of them, only small pockets of them carry Chagas disease. And it's not, it's not contracted through their bite alone. They have to defecate on you in order to get that Chagas into a place where it can be put into your bloodstream, put inside of your body. So it's best if you, if you are even nervous about an assassin bug bite, or you're not sure what type of assassin bug you were just bitten by, to of course wash the wound, disinfect the wound, and you will be fine. Of course, wheel bugs, being invertebrate predators, do not have any chance of carrying Chagas disease. And that is great to hear, because these are such interesting and unique and gigantic assassin bugs. I mean, look at the size of that thing. It is very large, and their bite is extremely painful. Many assassin bug species have an incredibly painful bite as they inject a slurry of digestive juices when they do so. A bite I experienced from a large wheel bug, one of North America's largest assassins, was incredibly painful and caused some major tissue damage from the digestive enzymes that were injected. Let's take a look at that bite. Okay, well, we're gonna see how bad this creature hurts, but look at that, how bizarre. Here we go. Ooh, ow, that stings. Ouch, ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, actually, wow. I'm really surprised by that. That's really bad. That's a really bad sting. That's like paper wasp level, I'm surprised. And my arm already already feels pretty tight. Look at that. Wow, I'm impressed, buddy. And now I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes too. Ooh, look at that. Youch. Now, like I said, they're primarily using this bite not only to deter predators, but to also procure their prey. This is full of digestive juices that they're using to kind of dissolve the soft tissue of their insect prey. Take a look. That actually hurt quite a bit more than I was expecting. I was, I was thinking something, you know, 
yeah, it's gonna be a little painful, but I was thinking the actual proboscis kind of piercing my skin was gonna be the worst part. Um, but no, those digestive juices, um, they, they really got the best of me. I'm, I'm very surprised. Um, and it's still, it, it doesn't quite hurt as much right now, but putting any pressure on or around it um, does hurt still a considerable amount. So I'm extremely impressed by this little wheel bug. Extremely impressed by this unique and interesting insect, this assassin of other arthropods. But how cool is that creature? I can tell you firsthand that it is not a pleasant experience. But these are really, really neat little insects and they have no interest in hurting. Oh, there's a wheel bug on my face. But see, he's just like, oh, okay. This is a really annoying tree, really odd creature here. Look at that. They're so, so, so cool. These can fly, of course, as adults, they have powerful wings. So I'm keeping a close eye on them because I don't want them to fly off. And I want to get some really cool shots of this beautiful insect to show you all at home. But I just wanted to clarify some stuff. I had a lot of comments about Chagas. I had a lot of comments about uh, assassin bug related illnesses and things like that. And the vast majority of these assassin bugs are nothing to worry about other than an uncomfortable bite. Um, these have no real threat towards humans um, other than uh, taking care of maybe pest insects that you might have around your home. These are great little guys for your garden. There's, they're great little guys for your property. Um, there's nothing wrong with these beautiful insects. And as you can see, as long as you don't lean up against one or press one between your fingers, uh, this is not an animal that uh, is willing to release that precious venom uh, on a random bite. Uh, of course, they will defend their lives when they have to, um, but this is not an animal that is trigger happy, so to speak, with that precious resource that it uses to procure and destroy its food. All right, so we had a great time coming out here and finding that massive, massive, massive wheel bug. And I hope I was able to shed some light on some things that may have been confusing you about assassin bugs in general. So I'm so sorry, my friends, but our time has come to a close. I've got stuff to do, videos to edit, bugs to catch. I'm sure you guys are busy as well doing whatever it is you do when you're not doing the most important things in your lives, watching on YouTube. So, so sorry, friends, but I must, in fact, bid you adieu. So thank you so much for watching. Of course, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future posts or uploads or future videos that you may also enjoy as much, possibly even more than this one. Buy the merchandise. This is Calliophus biver goddess, the Malaysian blue coral snake. Not only beautiful, toxic, and deadly. Spectacular snake. But uh, other than that, I don't have any other commands or orders for you other than to tune in next week for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife. So, goodbye. Be, be good to yourselves. And uh, I will see you in one week's time with the next upload. So, so be there or be square. Call it like I see it. I'll see you then. See you next week. Later.